Pocket projectors are hard to like, too expensive with too low resolution and brightness. Philips, however, is trying to make them better and eventually will succeed. Right now or the next time. This is Picopix 4835, pocket projector with similar build as previous models, slim, lightweight, not as light to hide in your pants pocket, but small enough to fit in any bag or even a jacket. It has a built-in battery lasting about 3 hours and is very easy to use. Previous Pika projectors models were interesting but had uh, its few drawbacks. For example, Pika 3514 had a USB and SD card slot and it was fully mobile. The next model, 3610, was even better with Wi Fi and Android. Unfortunately, both previous projectors had a resolution of 854 by 480 pixels and brightness of around 100 lumens. The new Pikapix 4835 has a higher brightness of around 350 lumens and finally a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. This is what I was waiting for. It's not as good as in your normal home projectors, but 720p in such a small body is something. The problem is that the, the Philips added the better lamp but removed the mobile features. Pikapix 4835 has no Wi-Fi, no memory card slot, and the USB is only out, so actually serves only as a phone charger. Very expensive charger for almost $600. In its current form, Pikapix 4835 works only when connected, uh, connected to a computer, cell phone or tablet, and only via cable. So if you need it for work, for example, to show some PowerPoint presentations from your computer, go ahead and buy it. For most of you, I won't recommend it, mainly because at the end of this year or in the early 2016, the new model will be available. Philips PPX X4935 will have Wi-Fi, DLNA, Bluetooth, USB OTG, SD card slot and even Android. At the same time, it will retain a higher brightness and a resolution of this model. So Philips continues its attempts to make pocket projectors like this more popular and it's getting closer to this goal. Model 3835 is not the only the one you should buy, but the upcoming 4935 may be the one. I'm really waiting for it. For more information visit my blog citizenhd.pl and also subscribe.